In this video, we'll talk about the phases of gastric secretion. So gastric secretion has three phases, cephalic phase, gastric phase, and the intestinal phase. In this video, we'll look at the events in these three phases and the regulatory mechanisms that operates in these phases. So stay tuned till the end of this video. But before that, let me tell you, in the gastric uh, glands, there are different type of cells such as neck cells, parietal cells, peptic cells, and each of these cells help in different type of secretions, which are combinedly known as gastric secretion. For example, peptic cell or chief cell secretes large quantities of pepsinogen, a particular enzyme that helps in protein digestion. Neck cells generally secretes mucus, whereas the parietal cells or the auxentic cells, they are known for their secretion of HCL and Castle's intrinsic factor. Now the key focus of our discussion is basically the gastric HCL secretion. So the gastric HCL is secreted by the parietal cell and about 160 millimole per liter of hydrochloric acid is secreted. The pH of this acid is about 0.8 so it's highly highly acidic and parietal cell contains large branching called canaliculi which helps or increases the surface area for the gastric HCL secretion. Now in the stomach we have a lot of gastric HCL which creates first of all highly acidic environment in the stomach which aids in protein digestion. Next the HCL also kind of neutralize the microorganisms which has entered our alimentary canal through food. So let's talk about how gastric secretion is controlled. Gastric secretion is increased when food is uptaken in the stomach and it is decreased when there is uh, no food in the stomach or the uh, stomach is empty. Gastric secretion is regulated by neural, hormonal and chemical mechanisms all coordinating with together and we are going to talk about these mechanisms shortly. So the basic factors that stimulate gastric secretion are gastrin, histamine and acetylcholine and the factors that inhibits gastric secretion are enterogastron, gastro, uh, gastric inhibitory peptide, VIP, secretin and glucagon from the duodenum. Now let us talk about the phases in bit more details and look at what type of mechanism operates in these phases. First comes the cephalic phase. This is highly modulated by the vagus nerve. Parasympathetic, uh, <coughs> uh, parasympathetic stimulation excite pepsin and acid production in this particular phase. Gastric phase uh, involves local nervous reflexes. I mean it involves the local uh, reflex arc to be active and then gastrin and histamine mediated HCL secretion is another mechanism that is operative in this particular phase. Intestinal phase involves a combination of nervous and hormonal mechanisms. So in the cephalic phase, let's see what events takes place. Cephalos means the head. That means this particular information tells us that whatever events are happening in this phase, actually the stimulus comes from the brain. And this comes via the vagus nerves. So whenever we see food, we smell food or even think about food, this cephalic, cephalic phase is activated and its activation is mediated by the vagus nerve which is innervated which is innervating the stomach. So presence of food in the mouth, taste of the food and act of chewing and swallowing the food can also trigger gastric HCL release in the stomach. Now next step is basically gastric phase. This phase is initi initiated when the food is reaching the stomach and cephal you have to understand that cephalic phase is a particular time window when food actually didn't reach the stomach. It's just you are thinking about the food or kind of chewing or swallowing the food. Now in the gastric phase both neural and chemical factors operate. For example in the gastric phase when our stomach is full the wall is stretched this detention of the stomach is actually detect, detected by mechanosensory receptors which send a signal to the medulla oblongata and further 
there is stimulus back from the brain which leads to more and more gastric HCL secretion. It makes a lot of sense because when you have too much food in the stomach, you need to uh, secrete HCL digestive enzyme to digest that food, right? And exactly that happens in the gastric phase. There are also local enteric nervous system based reflexes which helps in gastric secretion. And last of all, gastrin which is a local hormone, it is secreted and it also aids and stimulates the cells to secrete gastric HCL. Now let's look at the function of gastrin a bit more in a bit more details. So gastrin is secreted by the G cells present in the duodenum or in the pyloric antrum. So the gastrin peptide actually stimulates the cells in the stomach to secrete more HCL. Along with gastrin, histamine can also stimulate these cells for uh, HCL secretion. So overall, gastrin is quite important. It stimulates parietal cell and it overall helps in fundal and maturation of these parietal cells. It causes chief cell to secrete pepsinogen. It increases the antral muscle mobility and that promotes actually stomach contraction. So it helps in gastric emptying. So overall, it strengthens antral contractions, which ultimately leads to gastric emptying. It includes, I mean, it also regulates and modulates pancreatic secretion and gallbladder emptying. So overall, gastrin is quite important. If you want to learn more about gastrin, a video is provided in the I button. Now we are coming to the intestinal phase of the gastric secretion. So intestinal phase of the gastric secretion is initiated when the food reaches the intestine. That means food has entered the duodenum from the lower part of the stomach. So this would still allow the stomach to secrete some amount of HCL and other enzymes, but at a fairly smaller amount. So when the pH falls or there are other byproduct of the digestion such as lipids, this gives a feedback to the brain and thereby the brain sends out inhibitory signals to the stomach which reduce the production of gastric HCL. Other than that, several peptides such as GIP, secretin and CCK actually blocks or reduce the gastric secretion. So they are negative regulators. So in this video, overall, we looked at the three phases of gastric secretion and learned what are the mechanisms which are operative in these three phases and how these phases are distinct. Now let us quickly summarize what are the factors that affects gastric emptying. This involves volume of the milk, osmolarity of the duodenum, acidity in the duodenal contents, hormonal control and also nervous control. All of these things together act for gastric emptying. So I hope this video was short and informative enough. All the notes are associated with this, which are associated with this video are found in my uh, Facebook page. Follow my Facebook page and the link is provided in the description box. As usual, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Do let me know in the comment whether these videos are useful or not. Many related video uh, links are provided in the i button. Don't forget to check it out. You can support my channel in Patreon or you can uh, scan this QR code. If you are an Indian viewer, you can pay me via Bhim UPI app. Your small contribution means a lot for me. My courses are present in Unacademy, which is India's biggest online platform, and I'm present in all the social media. So all my social media links are in the description. So don't forget to follow me and connect with me in the show.